Hey, how's it going? How are you doing, Dave? Good. What do we got here? I have the first introduction of Thor. It's a, a Journey into Mystery comic book. Okay. It's pretty amazing. I know a lot about Thor the God, not He's really the comic book character. Um, you know, as far as the comic book character goes, yeah, you have Superman and Spider-Man and the Hulk and all this. And then you have a god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Journey into Mystery comic book. What's really special about this particular comic book is it's the first appearance of Thor in a comic book. I've had it for a couple of years now, but I could use the money. I want to start traveling a little bit. So I'm hoping to sell that comic book for about $100,000. All right, pretty cool. The actual mythical god Thor, he was the god of sacred groves, trees, lightning, thunder, and a few other things. Yeah, I don't know that much about the comic book character. I just know that's what Thunder was, was Thor hitting something with his hammer. <laughs> so you know when this came out? I believe around 1962. Okay. I'm not wearing my glasses, so like, who wrote this? Stanley Story, Jack Kirby, and Steve Ditko Art. The only one I really know about is Stan Lee, who was like, you know, he wasn't an artist, but he was like the most famous story writer for Marvel. You know, he came up with Spider-Man. Obviously, he came up with this, the introduction right there. Stan Lee's one of those guys, you know, he's probably the most famous comic book guy there ever was or ever will be. So where'd you get this at? Oh, my brother. OK, he just gave it to you? Well, he used to draw for Marvel Comics years ago. All right, super cool. Um, so you sent it in and got it graded? I sent it in and got it graded. And it's got a great rating on it, too. It's got an 8.5. Um, comic books, where they first introduce a character, those ones are always worth money. Um, this one being the introduction of Thor, which is now like a huge part of the Marvel Universe. You definitely have something here. So, I mean, you're looking to sell this? Yeah, I'd like to sell it. How much were you looking for? About 100000 $100,000. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and just think of all those comic books I threw away when I was a kid. Me too. <laughs> I mean, all I can tell you is I'm a little overwhelmed with it. I know a comic book from this era and this grade with the introduction of a character it has got to be worth a whole lot of money. I just don't know how much. Right, right. So let me have someone take a look at it, and uh, we'll go from there. I mean, we're talking a lot of money here. That sounds fair. Yeah, I'll give Steve a call. Thank you. I'm hoping that the expert will validate my asking price, actually. What do we have today? We have Thor. Well, look at that, huh? Beautiful. So, we have the first appearance of Thor. Stanley and Jack Kirby, of course. Very famous. Co-creators of the entire Marvel Universe. And Thor is the fifth character that came along in the Marvel Universe, just after Spidey. Stan did the plot, Jack created the costume. So, again, a great year, 1962 for Marvel. Breakout year. OK. So that was this comic series? Yes. Well, basically, issue 82 through 1 featured suspense, mystery, stories, no superheroes. And then as the superheroes began to grow, instead of, like, creating a brand new title just for Thor, they just said, OK, why don't we just throw Thor and Journey into mystery? OK. And then soon after that, he got his own comic book. Yes, in 1966. All right. Now, um, she's asking $100,000 for this. Ooh. All right, so first things first, CGC is the grading company here. The good thing is, is they've done the heavy lifting for us, an 8.5 of a book like this. And this book has white pages. That is astounding, which means that somehow this book was stored in an environment where the pages didn't turn brown or off-white. That is a major selling point. OK. And what would it retail for? Right now, if I was to take this book to my store, put a price tick on it, $60,000. Yep, Steve, man, I appreciate you coming down, buddy. All right, thanks, man, I appreciate it. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. It's a lot more than the 12 cents on the cover. Uh, yeah, definitely a good return on your money. OK, so what would be your best price on it? 60000 Well, I mean, it wouldn't be the smartest business move to buy it for 60 when I could sell it for that. But I'll give you 30 um, That's cash. You don't have to retail it. You don't have to put it in an auction or anything like that. You don't have to wait a year to get paid. 50000 At 50000 there's no money in it for me. I mean, I get, if I sell it in here, I got to pay commissions and everything else like that. If I sell it at an auction, there's auction fees. I'll give you 40. 40000 is a reasonable cash offer, OK? Mm, uh, OK, I'll go 40. 
All right, sweet. Thank you. All right, uh, you want to go right her up? Yeah, come with me. Well, I was asking 100000 but $40,000 is still a good amount of money, so I'm going to uh, help my brother out a little bit with some bills, and then uh, the rest of the money, I'm just going to go travel.